Oh well, dang, all right. Hey, here, hey, hey guys. Welcome to a breathless intro. Oh uh, yeah, we had to like, we jogged most of the way to the, the theater. We're like barely here on time. Bad traffic for Lars, bad GPS for me. So uh, <laughs> this one's gonna be a little rushed, yeah, but yeah. we're seeing uh, My Life is a Zucchini. Yeah. Which yeah. we had talked about in the previous episode. Uh -huh. There was an ad for it and then we got a free screening. So yes, we're here. it worked out pretty well. Yeah, Rolene is here as well. Hello, Hi. Rolene. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. Sounds yeah. like it's uh, one of them not broad appeal, more dramatic animated movies. I think that I will probably find it boring, but at the end of it, I'll be like, yeah, that was really good. I'm glad I watched it, even though it was boring. That's yeah. it, I get that impression from the movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah. I also like the cast. I think it's going to be one of those few serious movies that I like. Okay. <laughs> because it's animated. Yes. Well, if it was live action, it would suck for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> really? Um, really? Um, I don't really know what to expect. Maybe it's just like a slice of life, coming of age, very indie, very French, very low-key kind of movie, so. I get that impression. Impressions. Yeah, yeah, seems about right. Okay, well, we better get in there. It's like 107. It was supposed to start at once, so it'll start any second. Yeah. All right, there All right. Go. Okay, see you guys after the movie. Peace. All right, and we're back. Cool, cool. So I really wanted to like this movie. Uh-oh. And I didn't dislike it. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed it. Like, it's independent, it's stop motion, it's covering these issues that we rarely see covered in movies and TV shows about, like, the psychology of orphan children. Sure. And uh, the, there's the slight element of the childhood romance, uh, you know, which, which I think is more common in European films. Um, I never thought about that. Or like that. really any film other than American. I guess that's uh, true. <laughs> well, they, the Moonlight Kingdom. Moonlight oh yeah, Kingdom. yeah. It's kind of which is which is yeah. But, but the fact that I had to a think rare about it. rare exception, yeah. and that's that's something that Wes Anderson is is going to be more comfortable because he's always finding some sort of strange psychological situation for his characters. Yes. Anyway, oh, tangenting. Oh, okay. No. But but with Wes Anderson, all of his kids sound just like miniature adults. <laughs> but in this film, I really appreciated that they did kid things and talked like kids would, and it added a, a sincerity to the film that I really enjoyed. Yeah. I'm just going to say right now that I liked it. But yeah, finish yeah. your point about what you didn't like. I think that the, the film was incredibly sincere. I think it felt really real. I, I usually am quick to shit on dubs, but they did a really good job. And I still have to think that, like, if we watched it in the original French, it'd be, like, like 4% better. But but really good job. Really good job with the dubs. And I know? could listen to Nick Offerman all day long. Yeah, I, he's got a great voice. It's, it's easy on the ears. Indeed. Yeah. You know, and maybe it was just that we're in, like, a little bit of a small theater and doesn't have like a really big booming sound system but I don't know I, I almost feel like the this movie was so sincere and so true to life that that was almost its weakness there was no point in the movie where they ever went larger than life um, that's actually exactly the word that I wanted to use is that this definitely comes from life but it has not gone larger than life and so and besides this is stop motion animation but they didn't really make it like you know, uniquely stop motion animation that I can't totally see this movie just being a live action or just being any other medium like 2D or anything. So I feel like stop motion doesn't really give its edge. That's a good point that I hadn't thought about when we saw Anomalisa. We agreed that it couldn't have been done in any other medium. Yeah. Whereas this one could have been any medium. Yeah. I still really liked it a lot. But that's a really interesting point. And I don't want to say that I didn't like it. I don't want to say that I was like disappointed, but I, I, I feel like I just, maybe my expectations were a little too high. Okay. What I'm going to say is this. I don't think that it being stop motion detracts from it. I think that it was just, it just happened to be this medium and that's fine for the story that they're telling. I don't think it would have been improved with any other medium either. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't I, think it would have been better if it was live action. Yeah. I think it was just fine that it, the way it was. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I, so I'm I not almost feel like yeah. it being stop motion animation is the only gimmick about this movie. If, right. if this movie is not stop motion animation, it probably wouldn't even garner any attention because the story is kind of small in a way. It's a little bit, it doesn't have a whole lot of significance to it. I mean, like, we're so used to big Hollywood movies where it's just usually an emotional roller coaster. It's either extremely funny, extremely sad, extremely violent, everything to the extreme. And then this movie has no any of that kind of extremes. It's just like very mild. It's very like low on spice. So I, yeah. 
I, I felt like the, the power of this movie was going to be the, the, the emotionality to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that moment in the trailer, there's a kid, you know, who's like, they're in the snow and there's some other kid and his mom is sort of taking care of him, making, you know, br- brushing off his face or whatever, making sure he's bundled up. And then they look up and the camera reverses and you see like the seven orphans just all just staring, you know, at this kid who's lucky enough to have a mom. Right. And like when I saw the trailer, I, I got that immediately and it really hit me and I think it actually hit me harder in the trailer than it did while I was watching the movie and I don't know what that is you know maybe it's just because we're watching it in the afternoon and I'm just more awake (laughs) and less you know just just falling into my emotions as much I I, I don't know I think I think I just wanted to feel more during the movie I I see what you're saying but I didn't get that (laughs) I really thought that every even though it was slice of life they went through these great emotional arcs with all the characters without spoiling too much right now that I thought was really great and kept me engaged the whole movie. I thought I was going to be bored in some parts, but there was always some new information and a new relationship forming. And ultimately, it was like this movie about finding family, and I, I thought it was really well done. I had a great time with it. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, I, and I'm not going to say, like, it was a bad movie. I just, I guess I just wanted a little more. Okay. You know, but yeah. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, I agree yeah. with both of you. Oh, it's like, interesting. It's like okay yeah. to good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, usually, um, usually for any kind of animated movie, there's always fine moment in it that I, it will bring tears to my eyes or something. Mm-hmm. This one did not, like, even though oh, I know I it's like, I'm oh, tearing up a little bit. but maybe I just have a really hard heart. I just don't feel for them. I'm like, <laughs> wow. yeah, I get, I get it. It's, but well, Scrooge is over here. <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean, I could argue all day about it, but it, it comes down yeah, to opinion. No, but I, you know? I, I definitely yeah. agree with you. These are really, it's really a well-made movie. Yeah, just yeah. So really subjective reactions happening here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we uh, get into spoiler territory? Yeah, I think, yeah, we can, we can dive into spoiler territory. I mean, really, I feel like you know half of the story of the movie from the trailer. I guess, but there's these intricacies. I, I really like the character of Simon because he starts off as sort of the bully character, but he comes this really fleshed out, great supporting guy. And I don't know, and, and, and the moment where, uh, you know, Nick Offerman's character is going to adopt them and there's this confrontation and Simon can't really handle it, but he's mature enough to let them go and there's still a family at the end. I thought that was really great. Mm-hmm. Everything in the movie worked for me. I don't know. Stop looking at me like that. I mean, no, I agree. Simon's character is is really great. Yeah. I like him. You know, he comes off as a bully at first, but really he's just trying to act tough. Yeah. You know, that's just his way of dealing. Yeah, and it's it's almost protective, like, yeah. by the end of it. Yeah. yeah. And and the, almost, uh, in a way, the girl's aunt is the only cartoonish character in this entire ensemble. Totally. Everyone else is somehow grounded, and they're all, like, dimensional, but then she is flat, but then she's just, like, the pure villain, <laughs> so it's pretty funny in a way. <laughs> I kind of believed her as a character. I get what you're saying. Every, you know, she's definitely kind of over the top, mm-hmm. and everybody else is pretty damn Very understated yeah. yeah but she felt real to me yeah. like I don't know if I would say that she was like oh cartoonishly acting I would, <laughs> but you know I would say that she was cartoonishly acting there was no, every character had depth to them except for her <laughs> <laughs> it was just like money <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your filthy boat uh, toy. Gross. I, just, I mean, oh, if that's for a good cause. I don't know. I, I guess I've just encountered enough villainy in my life that, you know, that I'm just like, oh, yeah, one of those. <laughs> well, she's basically like a Cinderella stepsister kind of yeah, situation. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty one-dimensional. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't, she she certainly wasn't fleshed out yeah. as a character. I liked her design a lot. Yeah. She was really funny looking. Yeah. Yeah. The two-facedness was, well, yeah, no, that is very Cinderella's family. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still liked her. I mean, yeah, she was a fun yeah. addition to the movie. Just, yeah, as, like, she, just as a villain, you know, and she wasn't the whole point of the movie. Either. Right, yeah. She was just one of the arcs. Whether whether her character seems over the top or grounded to you, she she certainly works in the movie. Okay, I have an interesting, <laughs> interesting question for both of you guys. <laughs> All right, Paul. Which is difficult for these slice of my life kind of movies, but is there anything that you would change to make it better? Maybe more fantasy sequences? Maybe something that uses the yes. medium more? What do you Fan- think? Fantasy sequences. Interesting. Like go into people's head. Because if you're exploring children's psychology and then also we're using this creative medium which is stop motion animation, they can totally just go all out and then do a whole fantasy sequence or do something that is crazy like visually to just bring more interest into this uh, otherwise relatively quiet and unassuming story. Okay. Lars? Uh, 
I would say my thought, it's so much slice of life and it's so grounded that I, I really felt like the emotions tended to stay in sort of this very real place, you know, where it's like, okay, this is the real world. So we're keeping the emotion dial at like a, a five or a six. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel like it, they, there were places that they could have cranked it up. The movie could have had higher highs and lower lows yeah. without sacrificing the nuance and the reality of it. I, I think that those two would be mutually exclusive. I think if you tried to ratchet up the emotions of it, or added too many fantasy. This is just my opinion. I, I I think that some of the sincerity would be lost, and I think I don't think the relationships between the characters would be improved yeah. through big moments like that. Yeah. Perhaps it's possible, <laughs> but I can't think of a solution to it. I, yeah. I think I think it's a spectrum. For for me, I'm just thinking like without breaking the reality of it, you know, can we, you know, emphasize emotions more in places you know there I think there are a lot of parts where they're sort of in a full or wide shot and the camera just hangs there for a while you know and I'm not saying that that was wrong every time it happened but I'm saying that there there are places and times when maybe a close-up would have been good yeah also I think if we wanted to tell a really small and quiet story but then it's more focused on uh, emotion and more like you know the the nuanced psychology that the kids are going through i feel like making this stop motion animation almost sabotages it a little bit because you can't really emote with these models that much and then if we just have a scene where kids are standing around talking or something it's already kind of just like a oh, bland scene whatever just like you know hearing what they have to say but then on top of it we can't really see their performances as realistically how it connects to our emotion because if we see a real like person then whatever that person is saying we can still connect to that face but then if we're we're looking at a cartoon like sculptured figurine and then whatever that person is saying somehow disconnect us just a little bit for making it a like a stop motion animation faces that we're seeing and i mean Conveying emotion that way is a very French way of filmmaking. I thought it worked. I mean, I, and I don't, I'm not saying it didn't work. I just, I just, I, I guess I expected to feel more than I did. Okay. And, you know, and I don't know, and maybe that's my fault. <laughs> now, normally, I would give this a very high score. I would give it like 8.5. I thought it was fantastic. Okay. But. Which is high for you. Which is very high for me. <laughs> but they just did one little 20 second bit at the end, which I'm going to knock down a full star. <laughs> because they ruined it. And there's yeah. no reason for them to have done that. Which is a scene where they show three years earlier and they show the kid who plays zucchini saying like hey do you want to be in this movie meaning that all of this was an act it was a performance it was a farce and so all of the emotion is lost because it was all fake i know it's a movie but it doesn't have to be a movie within a movie it ruins it 7.5 <laughs> yeah i think they they went a little like too far with playing with their sets or their character models it almost feels like they didn't really do not need to add that little scene in the end but it's just the animators just really wanted to have a little extra fun so I think it was like the producer's nephew had this idea. They just yeah. had to do it. Yeah. One one thing that I thought was really interesting was that they dubbed the whole movie, but then that scene was the original French little boy. Mm. And so I didn't it's, pick up on that. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, that the part. The French voice acting is really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked it it's a lot. It's really cute. Yeah, it fit really well. And another thing that I thought was really interesting was the character, the puppet that they were using for that, I don't think was the puppet in the movie. It looked no, different. It looked I think cruder. Yeah, I think that that was not only the original voice actor French Little Boy's audition, but I think that that was test footage for the movie. Where oh. They were like working out the character. That's so, really interesting. Yeah. So yeah, so I mean, to me, it, it didn't bother me at all that they showed that. And that might be just because I'm used to it because <laughs> Like Studio Leica does that with every one of their movies. They have like Paranorman, they put the puppet together and have him walk off, or Box Trolls, they show the Street Sweeper guys getting animated at the end in like a time lapse thing yeah. where the animators are coming in day yeah. after day and doing the scene. I think that's a little different though. That's like, oh, you already saw this grand, amazing, uh, magical adventure, and then now there's a little bit of deconstruction of that magic behind the scene. Sure, but then this one is almost like they're so, uh, like, so 
intentionally tell you that look, these puppets even had a prior life before they got casted in this uh, like, orphan story, and then they weren't actually orphans. And they said they were interviewing that little boy as the puppy form, as he says, "Oh, well, yeah, well, my parents were divorced or whatever." And then he says, "But sure, whatever." I, yeah. I wanna... They they don't love each other anymore, and they've got loads of problems. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. things yeah. things from kid that can say. But yeah. but but <laughs> what if like at the end of an action film, like I don't know, like Jurassic Park or something with Tom Cruise in it, at the very end, after all the emotion, suddenly there was like a cast and crew like, yeah. hey, what do you think about your performance, Tom, Tom Cruise? Tom He's Cruise like, like, oh, my character is like really cool. I liked yeah. it. Like, it, it would ruin the movie, wouldn't well, it? If you it, had it all these emotions. Necessarily, it wouldn't necessarily ruin the movie if they do it like a week afterwards or they put it on YouTube somewhere. There's always behind the scenes. Uh, well, there's always behind the scenes, but it's not immediately during yeah, the credits. It's, it's there not, are yeah, sure. Jackie Chan movies do bloopers during the credits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. which is really Those fun. are fun. <laughs> Jackie Chan movies are fun. But it's, it, okay, I used a bad example because <laughs> action films are, are different, but it was like an emotional movie. So you saw her, you know, and I then mean, afterwards it was no, like deconstructing if, it. If, oh, yeah. if you say you watched uh, The Room, like one of the saddest <laughs> movies, and then afterwards everybody came in and they're like, oh, like take take it, high five, take five. I think and we're thinking about like, different movies. Eat a sandwich or something. <laughs> then yeah, that definitely takes it. Tell out me why so comes in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I don't know. I guess just again, it's just a subjective thing, okay. you know, because yeah, it didn't it didn't bother me. I get you know, like I basically I saw that and in my mind I was just like, what is it about stop motion? animators that they always want to show you behind the camera because you know 2d animators don't seem to have that impulse as much no whereas they're so proud of their medium and i guess so, so yeah. yeah they're like damn it it's real don't art. you guys realize how hard this is and that we're you know <laughs> we don't get as many opportunities in 2d like so they're like just look just look that's like okay i get that no. well it's it's definitely way cooler than showing flash yeah. open on a screen it's like look yeah. at this one drawing it looks a little weird because it's an in-between but <laughs> yeah <laughs> going on a little off model but it'll, it'll look good when it's moving. <laughs> right. You can't just point to a set. Uh, well, anyway, what would you guys score it? Um, I'll give it a 7.5. No. I'll, okay. Me, me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all ended up there we, from yeah. very different ways. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's maybe like in another time and space, I will probably appreciate this movie a little bit more. But mm -hmm. maybe it's just at this particular day not super in the mood of like yeah, watching a yeah. very you know maybe if we hadn't jogged to the theater <laughs> and like got our blood pumping and sat down all oxygenated if we were a little more sleepy in the theater we'd be a little more receptive to it <laughs> i'm a little tired so it was it worked for me there you I'm go in a nostalgic mood just today. you know yeah. you guys just don't watch this movie so here's what we've learned today okay watch my life as a zucchini like in the evening not in the afternoon yeah stop it after the credits start rolling and it'll be like an 8.5 experience for you exactly yeah, yeah. so there also, you go science like, just imagine if uh -huh. this is a story that your friends is telling you your reaction to after your friend finished telling your story your reaction would most likely be like Oh, cool story. As opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to some of the stories that your friends would tell, That's and then you will be true. like, you know, jaw on the floor, like, holy sh, really? Like that kind of reaction. You're not gonna get that kind of reaction. Oh, no. cool story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. Oh, one thing I wanted to say. It's it's one of those. Um Ponyo things were like they're probably not going to be in love for the rest of their life and also it's weird because they're sort of brother and sister now yeah. I thought it was so going to be kind of a weird ending I did think it's like so what now. what happens no they have different rooms oh, they have okay. different okay, okay. They right. have, you know they had the name on the door um, I, but it did cross my mind I was just like man when those kids in three years are going to be uh, uh, no four years they're going to be 13 and 14 and yep. have those doors next door they're brother and Gross. sister but not actually <laughs> I don't know Ew. but you know it's French me, weird uh, you know what, you know what? I, I could see France being all about that. I'm fine with that. Just go for it. Why not, right? I mean, legally, they're brothers and sisters, but not, you know, blood related. So who cares? Just go so to this town. Is old Whatever, kids. Oh my gosh. There's there's a there's a Konosuba episode where the main guy, he like dies and he's like in like the resurrection thing again. He's like, listen, I just want to, I just want to stay dead this time. Can I get just reincarnated just with like a pretty older stepsister and a cute younger stepsister? Like, jeez. <laughs> Like this, Stop. This guy's, that's this guy's request for the life he would like to live. I was just wow. like, wow, this guy. He's going for that it. That show is hilarious. Oh my god, that All guy right. will say anything. It's kind of amazing. All right, <laughs> gotta check that out. He just really stops caring what comes out of his mouth at some point. All right. <laughs> Cool. So I think yeah. we, we covered this movie top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. 
what's it trailers oh yeah there yeah, were yeah. a bunch of them there was a bunch of miyazaki films uh all oh, of which yeah. i've seen yeah and they're it was very just good. like oh hey you guys remember this is the new art theater and we play whatever we feel like remember porco rosso remember paprika remember uh how's moving, how's, moving castle it's my favorite what, what i do like is that they played the trailer that they played at the time so it was yeah. like the new film porco rosso yeah which came like, out in like 1999 <laughs> or something yeah it's like coming in june yeah yeah, yeah. oh it? there was an intro cartoon uh, oh, yeah. the genie in the the genie in the ravioli tin that's right yeah. yeah that was fun so i think it was based on a kid's book or something it, okay. it was it just I, I don't know. Yeah. So I, I, I'm working on a script right now for a cartoon that I'm working on. Ooh. And I'm spending a lot of time trying to make sure the characters all make sense and all the motivations make sense. And I didn't know that you could just write a script about fucking whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And just like whatever you think about, you just write down whatever you want. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. And it was still really charming and I liked it, but it's like, yeah. oh, I guess they're doing this now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was definitely like watching it because the guy's, the genie's granting him wishes. And I'm thinking, like, this guy is not thinking through these wishes at all. Yeah. These things are things that are fun for like an hour uh-huh. and then they're over forever, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, it's like. So very romantic. Like, yeah. they're not logical, they're not practical, they're not thinking, oh, now that I can. I can become the world's most powerful. No, he's just like, ah, oh, maybe one meal. One yeah. meal is the only wish. And what I liked about it, he's like, I just want like some spaghetti. He's like, are you sure? All right, spaghetti and a salad. <laughs> oh, just a really big dinner would be great. <laughs> like, all right, you didn't upgrade it that much. Yeah. Didn't ask for it's, food forever. It's yeah. like it's like that rare situation where the genie isn't trying to like monkey paw fuck you over. The yeah. genie is like, let me help you out just a little bit so that I can make your useless wish okay-ish uh-huh. you know poet it, didn't know it it may have been like the Mistake. most french thing i've ever seen no. yeah that, that short film yeah. <laughs> it was it was definitely i'm i'm sure while i was watching i was getting the sense like this is a children's story that somebody has adapted here yeah. like, uh-huh. that's the only way that this story can be this simplistic is that yeah. if it was like a children's book or maybe yeah. it's maybe in france this is just yeah. a common nursery tale yeah. it's very pure heart it's very innocent mm-hmm. it's just like you know, it makes sense. Children would never thought of, oh, I'll be the king of the world or anything like that. Oh, I'll like, you know, be the CEO of the, the biggest company in the world. Children don't think of that. Children yeah. would just be very in the moment, like now. Right. Kids are kids are pretty dumb. Mm. But I also like <laughs> that there's no regrets. Yeah. He's so yeah. happy with everything that he wants. Yeah. It's, it's he got so he got his like fucking meadow and he's just chilling in it. He's like, I it. want I wish for a meadow full of flowers, you know, and it's just like, where are you gonna sleep? <laughs> you know, it's just like Stupid. Sleeps under the yeah. table, I guess. <laughs> yep. I wish for a big meal. What are you gonna eat tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> lots of sheep. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it, it was it was cute. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I so, once again I failed to do any research. I don't know what we're seeing next. Oh yeah. Uh, boss baby. I fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I just not. wanted that reaction. Let's, let's from watch you. Paprika. That's a good one. We can do another last episode. Okay. Something. Yeah. I'd be down. Yeah. I like paprika. Great. <laughs> well, I don't know what's actually coming out, but I don't Ross know. Boss baby. No, we're definitely not going to be seeing that. <laughs> I can't put myself through that. Are there any? Are there any other uh, animated movies coming out? Nope. Yeah. Oh. Well. Cars three. Oh yeah. <laughs> the the dark one. The death. The dark of lightning between. <laughs> Pretty reboot. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Oh, no thanks. Man. So I don't know. I don't know what's the next one. Well, we should just. This is nothing now. Let's just end <laughs> yep. this. Okay. Let's kill this. All right, guys. Okay. I, we don't know what the next episode is gonna be. Goodbye. I forgot. Bye. I forgot my sign off. I I you know. We love you. No, I that wasn't. You. Oh, we. Yeah, it was. It was. We love you. That's right. Okay. Great. Thank Hooray. you. Hooray. I love you. <laughs> Woo. Okay, bye, everybody. (laughs) Never not funny.